Uh, today we are going to encrypt our swap partition. This can be useful in case that you have uh, many users on the system and you want to make sure that the people from outside should not be able to catch any file from the swap partition uh, and to be able to read them because this will scramble the files in the swap. And um, I'm not sure exactly in what way uh, swap could be uh, in danger. It might be if someone has hacked the system and able to log in and to get things from the swap to catch from other users. But um, that uh, I think it uh, would be a little bit, bit of uh, a lot of security issues if you have people that are able to enter your systems. But however, this is very simple to encrypt. Another thing that you can consider is that if you have a sort of this system is that uh, if, you, if you really don't want anything to enter in the swap, you can have a computer with an, a large amount of memory instead. But uh, in most, ca most cases you want to have a swap system, so let's uh, encrypt it right now. We are going to use the Guillaume ELI for this. You might be testing to make a Guillaume ELI encryption on hard disk drives. What I know is that there shouldn't be any problems to encrypt the swap partition since swap is a temporary file. And I mean if, you, if the key would be lost in this case, it doesn't matter. In case we don't use any key file for this because FreeBSD will automatically generate an, a random passphrase instead of using keys that can be lost. So I consider it safe, I guess. So this is how we do it. First we need to activate Guillaume ELI inside of our boat uh, loader.conf. Select your favorite editor and begin to edit boat loader.conf. This file won't exist if you haven't manipulated it yet. But don't worry, so it will be created anyway then. So here you have to add options geom underscore eli. The next line we need to add device crypto. I noticed that I was making a typo there. Okay, now it should be okay. So then you need to add the following then. On the first line you need options geom underscore eli. And on the next you need device and then crypto. So then you just need to save this file. These changes won't occur until we are rebooting our machine. But the next thing won't occur until we reboot my machine the, to encrypt our swap space. So let's do this setting right now. It's very easy. All the things you have to do in this case is uh, just to edit the etcfs tab file. Do it with your favorite editor by entering etc fs tab. In here you need to find the following row. You can see this one. Swap. And on this line all you have to do is to go to the end of uh, this partition device here. If you're using the VI editor, you can begin to type things directly after by pressing the A key. Like this. And then you just have to type dot ELI. Just like this. Press escape. If you're using VI, use write and quit to write to this. And after this is done, you just need to reboot your machine now. And FreeBSD will automatically make a uh, random fast phrase for each time you reboot the machine, which will cover, I mean, which will um, make the swap system more safe because now it will be encrypted. Uh, notice one thing now. If I look inside of dev at this partition, remember ADA0P3 in my case, it does it, all you see here is ADA 0 P3 and notice that we will see something different after we reboot our machine. So just type reboot and restart it. So now we just need to log in to our system and uh, remember now that if I, for example, if I do like this, if I write mount, you will see uh, all the petition mounted. But it's better to do like this. 
right cat etc fs tab and here you will see that the what the uh, name of the of the swap petition is you can see here ada0p3.eli and if we <coughs> do ls dev right now you notice that we have an ada0p3.eli this, this is the encryption hand this is the handler for the encryption part of this uh, partition so now it's uh, our swap partition is uh, fully encrypted by freebsd and consider your system a little bit more safer than now so this was one of the tutorial of making freebsd a bit safer so um, i i'm not sure which tutorial will arrive in which order but stay tuned for more tutorials and take care